These specially trained canines are being put through their paces to sniff out life-threatening diseases. Medical detection dogs have a successful history catching the presence of malaria and certain types of cancers in humans. But now they've been given a new mission to see if they can detect the odour of COVID-19. The UK government has awarded a specialist team of researchers almost half a million euros to find out if these biodetection dogs could help in the fight against coronavirus. It's a partnership being led by charities and universities, including London's School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. When you, you have a disease, so it could be a virus or a parasite, um, it changes your body odour, so you actually smell differently. And we've, we've demonstrated this already with diseases like malaria, for example. And we know for other diseases, certain types of cancers, Parkinson's, um, even um, detection of uh, epileptic seizures or blood sugar levels, dogs can, can do this with a very, very high level of accuracy. If successful, the first set of dogs could be deployed within six months to airports to help in the rapid screening of people travelling from abroad, with each dog potentially able to screen up to 250 people an hour. Within a few weeks of beginning the training, we'll know whether there's something there. But it will take us about eight to ten weeks to get to the end of that process. Um, so what we're hoping is that by sort of August, September time, probably September time, um, we would have in the UK at least six dogs that would be ready to be deployed. And we'd also have a method of scaling this up so other countries could do the same sort of thing. Um, the dogs that we're using in these trials are uh, Labradors and Cocker Spaniels, and some of them are a mix of the two as well. And they're excellent dogs. They're able to smell very well and use their nose very well, but they're also able to be trained. And it's very important they have the right temperament as well. With European governments still grappling on how best to proceed with preventing a second wave of the pandemic, man's best friend could well prove... It has a nose for knowing how to catch COVID-19 in patients before it's too late. Trent Murray, Euronews.